Okay, I'm going to show you here how to use 7-Zip. It's a file for Windows, a program, sorry, for Windows that allows you to zip and unzip or basically compress files. Zip is sort of a, a particular file format, but the general idea is compression. So the first thing you have to do is download the file, and it's going to take you to a different site. SourceForge is a place that people store these what's called open source projects, meaning anyone can edit the source code and they're free. So it's going to ask you to save a file. I'm going to click Save here and just save it in my documents. Uh, you could save it somewhere else on your computer if you wanted to. Uh, then when it's done downloading, you should see it in your downloads, and you can just open and run that file. I'm going to give you the warning because it's an executable file. Say OK. Uh, it will say it can't be verified. That's all right. And we're going to run the installer. So we choose an, a location. This default location on your C drive is, is normal, that's fine. And it's completed, and I'm going to say finish. And actually it was nice, and that's very a very quick one to do. To show how to use this, I'm going to go to my documents here, and we're going to uh, just view this uh, documents, and let's go up to a, a folder here. So let's say um, I had um, a folder that I wanted to uh, put in. So uh, let's say we had this podcasts folder, and I want to zip this. All right. So if I right click on it now, underneath the right click, so notice I, I, I click the right click on my button, you'll see something that says 7-zip. So there's a few different options, but usually the easiest one to do is to go to add to whatever the name of the folder is or file.zip uh, and that's a nice quick zip one to do it with the email uh, you have to have your email configured a little bit to do that on the computers at school or somewhere else that may not be what you want so I'm going to say add to zip there there we go it's creating it um, adding all the different files that are in it and it's done so now um, if I go and I look, it'll actually be right now at the bottom of my page here. Uh, let me scroll down. There it is. So notice it's the same thing except it says .zip. So this took all the files in that folder, including the folder, and put them in one zip file. Now this actually is a little bit big. It's 30 megabytes. I have podcasts in there, so I couldn't send that through email. So one of the things, if you're doing this to save your projects over email, just make sure it doesn't go over 10,000 K, or which is 10 megabytes. Otherwise, you won't really be able to email it to yourself. Uh, your email program will probably choke on it. Um, now, if you have something that's zipped and you want to unzip it, you can actually right-click on it again. Uh, oops, let me scroll up here so you can see this a little better uh, in a different view. Okay, so you can uh, right-click on it and go to 7-zip is again, and it says open extract files. And you can also say extract to here. Let me see if I can get this even looking better for you. Hold on one second. Okay, so I'm just going to use this uh, folder here. I made it a little easier. So we right-click, go to 7-zip, and the easiest one is to just say extract here. All right. Uh, what that will do is it will write where that f file is. It will extract the folder and all of its contents. So there is my folder, uh, the zip file extracted the folder, and if I click on that, there's all the files inside that folder as well. So if I give you something that's zipped and you want to unzip it, that's the easiest way. Right click, go to 7-zip, extract here. And when you want to compress it, right click, 7-zip, add to whatever it is, dot zip. And that's it for 7-Zip.